striper. Kaden, Kaden, look, you got a fish. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've been away for a while. Uh, I was doing some projects. I had a little bit of time off, just spending some time with friends and families, really not fishing too much. This was actually a day I went over to my friend Yasha's, and we really weren't fishing. We were playing. You can see the RC boat in the background, and uh, Caden just wanted to make a couple casts. And right before dark, I said, you know what, let, let Uncle Chris fish for about 15 minutes. And uh, I caught two stripers in no time, so really cool. I wasn't expecting anything. So yeah, guys, beginning of March, this was caught on bloodworms. Uh, it was at the beginning of a really long stretch of days off. Again, I was doing house projects, wasn't really fishing, but uh, what a treat. This was just so fun. First fish off Yasha's dock. Striper! Oh, you got a striper! <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, baby! Hey, watch this, bud! <laughs> Look at what we got! Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that! <laughs> 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 Wait, don't take it Our first fish off the dock! Yay! Kaden, look! Kaden! Five, buddy! <laughs> take a good pick, real quick. Hold on. Okay. All right, Reaper team, good morning. It is March 10th. Guys, today is the day. I'm actually going winter flounder fishing. I'm so pumped. You don't understand, I've been reading about this since I was a little kid in the Fisherman Magazine, Milt Roscoe, Al Ristori, all, all those guys. I literally just was um, reading another article by Milt Roscoe. He's like a local legend about um, different baits and things like that. So I am just beyond excited. It's, uh, I think, 8 o'clock. I'm actually here at the marina. There's, uh, there's the big boat. There's Reaper. Now, I kind of opened up a can of worms um, doing some new projects. Uh, maybe I'll go over that in a separate video, but... Yeah, we're driving about an hour and 10 minutes north, about 70 miles. Zach's going to meet up with me since he's uh, at work right now. He's putting in a short, I guess, quarter day, not even a half day. I don't know. He's got it real rough. But, um, yeah, I'm going to meet him up there. Here we go. We're embarking on another adventure. I'm so super pumped. I'm sure you guys can, like, feel the excitement. I've literally been waiting for this for years. Zach and I have been trying for the last couple seasons since he's had a trailer boat, but we just never seem to get the weather when we're off. So, man, I'm pumped. It's a little windy, but we'll see. It's supposed to be like 55 degrees today. It was really warm yesterday, so that dude, that water should have warmed up. So we're gonna fish the outgoing tide, and uh, I'm so excited. Slight right onto the Garden State Parkway ramp, then merge onto Garden State Parkway. River Reaper. All right, guys. We're, uh, we're floating. Look at that. We didn't even leave the dock. And look, there's a little baby winter flounder right there. Place is loaded. Dude, guys, that's got to be an omen. He's swimming right towards the boat, too. He's like, dude, this is how you do it. Right up, huh? Dude. Oh. Look how big it is. Oh, wow. It's double, double, double trouble. Yeah. All right, you ready? Take us. What are we waiting for? Woo! Gotta get the chum going, all right? So, clam log chum, and it fits right up in here, okay? So that goes into there, like yay, okay. All right, guys, so we got one anchor off the bow. We got one off the stern. So I got my chum pot going, and I'll show you that. So just a, a clam log. All right, inside, and then Zachy's got his homemade one there. Let's see if it sinks. And then I have four rods that we're gonna rig up. I learned how to make them, but I have a ton that I bought. So let's just see. I'm gonna start with this one here. So just a little silly flounder rig. You can see it's just two Chestertown hooks, and then you got one, one up a little higher than the other. So let's see, that's the rig. And then I have different variations on that, different, you know, leader lengths and things like that. So we shall see. This one I got mussels that I brined overnight. This one I got bloodworms, all right? So I'm gonna cast this one out a little bit into the chum slick. Right?
All right, no bites at that first spot. Zachy's making a little wiggle. He says he knows where they are. He's just laying on it, you watch. No, he's not on it. He's not laying on it. He's so not laying on it. Yo, Reaper team, what's up? It's been a while. Just leaving Brigantine now. You can see it's kind of uh, gloomy today. It's warm though, it's like 60 degrees. It's only around 9 a.m. Uh, this is take two of Winter Flounder. We tried uh, earlier in March. It was a beautiful sunny day. It was like 60 and sunny. And we got old fashioned skunking. I mean, we didn't even get a bite. Uh, maybe I'll show you a little footage. I don't know. It was pretty darn boring. But um, we're heading up again today. So we are going way north. Um, for me, it's about an hour, 20 minutes. I think for Zachy, it's probably about two hours. So um, it's around nine. Uh, the tide's going to start moving around 11. So uh, I'm just kind of moseying around trying to get bait. I'm going to need some clam chum. I'm going to need some blood worms. I'm actually heading over to the marina where I keep the big boat just to see if I can see any mussels hanging on the uh, on the pilings or on the floaters um, and make my own little chum out of that. So uh, I'm so excited, guys. This is still, it's like my white whale, my unicorn, the winter flounder. So man, just wish us luck. Hopefully, I just want to see one. I've never seen one. I've never tried for them aside from this year. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't be driving and uh, videoing, but I'm a good multitasker. So anyway. just leaving, um, I guess this is uh, Beach Haven West or you know, just west of LBI on Beach Island. And uh, Tony's bait and tackle. Uh, man, they had tons of clam chum. I grabbed seven logs of chum and I have one from home. So eight chum logs. I'm gonna chum like crazy for these suckers. But dude, what a nice shop. Um, I should have brought the camera in there and walked around. I didn't really walk around a ton. I kind of in a rush, but man, he, he seemed to have everything. It was stocked perfectly and uh yeah i just like giving shout outs to um to good shops that i uh that i come across so uh yeah tony's bait and tackle seems like all right guys so here's some blood worms do is just spread them right on there really get that scent going out it's not huge Leave a nice little tail. These blood worms aren't bad. Couldn't get jumbos, but these aren't too bad. Work. All right, guys. So we'll do one just like that. Right in the chum slick. It should be that one. Got our conventional one, and I'll put some clam on this one. Oh no! Here we go. How long did it take you to get up here? An hour and a half. Oh, dude. Terrible. That clam's fucking terrible. I wouldn't put that on for bait. Oh, God, it's rancid. I knew they didn't look right. Team, if your bait stinks to you, trust me, don't use it. Um, there's nothing worse than rancid or, you know, not fresh bait. Or if it's frozen, it's got to be fresh frozen and... You know, clam should have a, a very mild smell to it. It should have like a little shellfish smell, you know, not a whole lot. Um, if you smell it and it's la pew, that's no good. Don't use it. If you don't like the smell of it, trust me, the fish won't. I promise you. All right. Well, the clams are rancid, so we're not using them. So, worms it is. All right. Now, or the trifecta. <laughs> Now they're all in trouble. I got my backwoods. <laughs> they're all in trouble now. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So trap set. Got the got the bait out. Got the chum set. Now we wait. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. What to Zach, do. he's getting bit. Oh my god, he's getting bit, guys. Oh my god, he's getting bit. Oh my god, Zach's got one. Oh my god, Zach's got one. Got a fish. He's shaking his little head. He's shaking yep. his little head. He's shaking his little head. It's a flounder. It's a flounder. Zach's got a winter flounder. Zach's got a winter flounder. Zach's got a winter flounder. Oh, 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 get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. We got one. We got one. Dude, we got one. That's the worst net job ever. We got one. That was the worst net job I've ever seen. It's a winter flounder. 
Yo, hey, bud. Hey, buddy. We did it. Yeah. We got one. What is the size? 12? 12 inches. You got a measure? Yes, right in my pocket. Oh, my God. We got one. Yeah, they, they say they're really fat. Dude, we got one. He goes, I'm getting a bit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, let's get a measure. I mean, he's got to be 12 inches. He's got a fat little thing. There you go. We got one. We got one. We got one. Oh, my God. Dude, he's 36. You're on the... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's a keeper. That's a, that's a old school... That's an old school summer flounder That's keeper. an old school... He's, he's neat, guys. He's got like a... See how firm he is there. He's got his two little eyes, just like a fluke, and then he's got these little tiny mouth. A little antenna, unicorn. And a little antenna. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Um, Good job, dude. Our first winter flounder ever. Yes, we got him. Zach, he got one. One fish, one keeper. That's so cool. You weren't far out, too, right? No, not really. Yeah, you're just right in there, right? All right, dude, where there's one, there's more. I saw you just kind of, how, how long did you let him eat it? it was, I wasn't sure what to do. Like, yeah, yeah. You feel it's like a little, yeah. I don't know if he's committed or what. what right, right, doing. yeah. And, uh, well, I say, suck it up pretty good. But then I didn't feel nothing, that's why I kind of pulled it. He was just on it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, just like that, huh? Right there. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, I think I got bit. I might have got bit there, dude. My little worm is like really nothing in there. Right, let's get some fresh bait on there now. We know they're here. Yes. Yes. So everything I read says to put little like two to three inch pieces of bait on there. And I, I just can't help myself. I, I love fresh bait, lots of bait. It's just kind of my MO. So if you're a, an accomplished flounder fisherman and you see the amount of worm I got on there, if it's too much, let me know. If it's not enough, let me know. Or if it's just right, let me know. Hit it, you know, give me a comment down there. I need help with this. I'm a total novice. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> All right, we're making a little wiggle. A little chilly out. Out of a mile, uh, mile run from where we were. Zach, you going to the boat? It's supposed to be, uh, I don't know. Somewhat cloudy today. It's it's been cloudy all day. It's colder on the water. So uh, we'll see, team. Let's get a couple more, baby. Around, we, this is our third spot. I was messing around with the chum pot, and then I start hearing giggling, and he's got another one. He saw the hooks. So I hope he's you little keeper. devil. Is he a keeper? Yeah. Dude, look at his neat tail. Yeah, he's got a cool tail, right? Dude, we just pulled up here. We were here three seconds. <laughs> Dude, he hit it and then it was yeah. gone. I'm like, did I get bit? I thought like all this stuff. I thought I got bumped by something. He's so neat looking. If I get my hook so back. done with you. Hey fella, open your little mouth. Sack two, Chris zero. How neat he is. Aggressive old guy. Yeah. Chesterfeld hook. You got it right down there. You little devil, you. Chris, he picked the spot though. That's right. I was headed this way. Yeah, you are. Their colors are way different than our flute. And they're super scaly. Yeah, they're scaly and they're fat. Look how fat they are. I mean, all right, all right, I'm sorry. River Reaper strikes again. I so dislike you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I think so, I think so, I think so. Keyword being think, I think so. I saw something moving. I saw something happening. Yeah, I'm getting bit. Oh my god, I'm getting bit. Oh my god, I'm getting bit. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Oh, he's biting his Zach. He's biting his Zach. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's not there. He's not there. Oh my god, I got bit. Oh my god, I got bit. Yeah. He's not there. He's not there. I didn't get him. Ah, oh, dude, I was getting bit. Look at, look at, he was getting my worm, dude. Ah, oh, what a spot though, dude. What a spot. I missed him, guys. He like was just scratching at it, Zach. That's what was that first one. Yeah. 
I should have waited till he was there, huh? I don't know. It's hard to... Yeah, I don't know what to do. Me neither. Oh. Oh, man. That breaks my little heart. What a spot, though, huh? Jerry Seinfeld does a little skit, you know, when you start getting stressed, you know, you, you're, you start kind of, you know, rubbing your beard, then you start going a little higher as you get more stressed, you start scratching at your nose, and then once you start, you know, scratching your head and pulling at your hair, then you know you're really stressed, and uh, I, I was at stress level at this point, I, um, I just didn't think it was going to happen, you know, and uh, I hold these fish in high regard, I never caught one. What's up, dude? Last guy made 15 and a half. Oh, nice, dude. That's cool. All right, good stuff, man. All right. Uh, thank you. How big was the second one you got? I think he was like 12 and a half, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, little guy. Good luck. You too, man. See you. Okay. What, did you get another one? Limit. Nice, dude. All right. I guess we should head back over there. Good job, dude. Thanks again for all your help, man. Alright, peace out. See you, brother. Ready? Yeah, man. Go get them. Take us. Go, Goose. Alright, team. So, uh, that's a wrap. Final tally was um, two flounder, both caught by Zach. So, I am still seeking my white whale my winter flounder but man we had fun so we're starting to learn the pattern a little bit more zach and i were just kind of talking about it so yeah any input guys i, I really love it um james thank you so much man so james was nice enough to reach out to me and just kind of help me out with some some you know general spots it's not like he uh um you know gave away any popular spots or any hidden spots or anything like that um just kind of helping us you know point us in the right direction and kind of tell us a little bit about the pattern of what we're looking for so james i can't thank you enough thank you so much man and thanks for watching um yeah guys so from here on out the videos will start pumping up a lot more and you know i'll start turning them out we're gonna do some probably striper fishing here soon we're working on the boat still and then uh pretty soon we'll be back out on the tog grounds and then back out on the tuna ground so as always hit that like button subscribe ding that silly bell i'll see you guys on the next adventure thanks for watching all right, guys, there's King Zach with his two fish. That's right, heavy. So let me see, just real quick, team, I want to show you their little mouths. They got tiny little mouths, very much so different than a fluke. Tiny little mouths, tiny little teeth. You know, fluke have giant mouths. Um, yeah, they're so neat looking. All right. All right, so tonight, again, I'm the product of the 80s and a little bit of the 90s. So we've got Raiders of the Lost Ark to end out the evening. All right, Reaper team, so back in the kitchen here. Let's go ahead. I filleted the fish um, downstairs outside uh, so as not to tick off the wife, right? So, but we're gonna go ahead and skin them inside here. Um, it was a little low light out there. I don't wanna mess it up. So, um, really neat. So my fish had, um, it was really weird. It had just a little bit of gunk in the stomach. Um, it almost looked like minced up weed or reeds almost, um, maybe mixed with a little bit of the clam chum, but I didn't thoroughly see the stomach loaded with clam chum, which was kind of interesting. I thought they were going to be chock full. Um, and then the fish that I had um, had bloodworm in it. So Zach's pretty much whole bloodworm. He had sucked right down his gullet. Um, and Zachy just sent me a picture of the one that he filleted. And uh, his had almost a whole um, mana shrimp in there. So kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, Zach was nice enough to give me one of the two fish. So at least I could try some. Um, man, that's two in a row. I just got nothing. Uh, Zachy had two bites, two fish. I had literally one bite and no fish, so uh, we'll get the winter flounder dialed. Again, it's only our second time ever doing it, um, and guys, I love doing new fisheries. It's so fun when I can just research or learn a new fishery and reach out to others and, and get input, and again, thank you again, James, and, um, and just make it work, you know? It's just so fun, um, and then now that I've seen somewhat of a pattern and I've kind of started to see some spots now hopefully we'll get it mastered you know it's probably take a couple springs but i love mastering a fishery so you know hey listen this time of year this tide this these pattern conditions let's do this and this and this and that's how you're successful um making mental notes a lot of guys 
you know, do full, full on logs. Um, I haven't done full on logs. I've definitely kept notes throughout the years. Um, what's really neat is that by doing the YouTube channel, it makes it like a video log, so that's kind of neat. And then even before I started the channel, I would make my own little videos just for the crew, and that always provided, um, you know, a good little video log for myself as well. There, but yeah, let's go ahead. I'll stop yapping. Let's um, go ahead and skin these up, and uh, I think I'm just going to do it really simple because I want to taste the fish. I've never ever had winter flounder. Now these are smaller fillets. The fish is small. Normally I would, I would bread it and fry, but I really want to taste the fish, so. Probably just do it right in the oven um, with a little bit of either olive oil or butter, light seasoning, so I can really, you know, taste the fish. So let's go. Now, team, the, the fillets look very much so just like fluke fillets. Um, they're a little bit softer, so this is off, you know, not not too bad really. They're they're thick and meaty. Um, so let's see how they taste. They sure as heck look look a lot like fluke. Hopefully you can see that beautiful, nice, white, flaky meat, very akin to a fluke. Um, again, they're, they're not huge, but I'm going to go ahead and trim these up, preheat the oven to probably about, I don't know, 375, something like that, and then I'll, I'll show you how I'm going to go ahead and prepare these guys. The oven's preheating, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay my fillets in our baking tray, well, baking dish, I guess. All right. This is more like a little appetizer, really. So we're just going to take a little Land O'Lakes salted butter. Now, not too much. I don't want to really overpower it. So just like a little, little tiny piece of butter on each filet of the nuts. Okay. All right, then, guys, I'm just going to do a little salt. Again, I want to taste this fish. A little bit of ground pepper. bit of garlic powder just a little paprika for color not a ton just a couple parsley flakes just to top it off make it look pretty fresh parsley if you can um, this is, again in a pinch so ovens preheated got Raiders Lost Ark going super pumped I'm getting hungry I've been out fishing all day didn't even catch a fish 10, 12 minutes at 375, and this fish should be delicious. So let's see. All right, team. We're on to Rambo now. 80s movies rolling strong. All right, Reaper team. Fish is done, and boy, does it look good. Hopefully you can see that. And I wish you had smell vision That just looks absolutely delicious. Pretty sure it's going to be really hot, but uh, I got to take a try. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That'll do, Clark. Mmm. Oh, my God. That's so good. Wow, tastes like fluke, but um, but it's uh, it's softer. It's not as firm, actually. It, like melts in your mouth. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. Let's so I can get you a little closer look at what we're dealing with here. That is absolutely amazing. My first winter flounder. No, I didn't catch it, but hey, Zachy and I are a team. The winter flounder is my white whale, I'm telling you. The white whale of my fish. Someday. I think I finally picked my number one. This is my favorite fish to eat. This is absolutely the best fish I have ever eaten. Yeah, this is it. This is the best fish I've ever eaten. Yep. How do you like it all these years? Living in New Jersey. Mmm. This amazing fish was right up the road. Wow. Got to master this fishery now, team. We got to. It's just so good.